Hello, hello, welcome back. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Santos Miguel. Hello, Katia Lorena. Hi, Fatima Guadalupe, how are you? Hello, Karen hello, Zuleima. Hello. Hi, Monica. Hello, Karen. How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Good hello, evening. Nady. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. good evening. Good evening. Hello, Jorge. Hello, Noemi. Hello, hello Jose Javito. Hello, Erasmo. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello Daddies. Hello. hello, Karen. Welcome, everybody. How are you today? Are you ready? Hi, good evening. Yes, I am ready. All right. I am Yes, I am. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? I was born in. ¿Y cómo sería la pregunta? Where were, where were you born? Very Richard. good. Where were you born? Correct. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna look at the video real quick, just to review. Este es un repasito de ayer. Everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer questions with the past of B. Additionally, you'll also learn how to express years. Let's get started by analyzing the questions that you see on this chart. Questions with the past of B. Were you born in the U.S.? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Where were you born? I was born in Korea. When was he born? He was born in 1985. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. Years. 1906. 1917. 1999. 2001. To form questions with the past of B, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus subject plus complement. Let me point out that whenever we make yes or no questions, there won't be a WH word. Let's analyze a couple of examples. Were you born in the US? In this case, this is a yes or no question, so we don't add a WH word. The first thing we do is add the verb to be in the past, where. Next, we need to include the subject, you. Finally, we need to add the complement and a question mark at the end. Born in the US. To answer this type of question, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I was. Or negatively by saying, no, I wasn't. Let's analyze one last example. Where were you born? In this case, this is a WH question, so we need to add a WH word. The first thing we need to do is to add a WH word. Next, we need to include the verb to be in the past, where. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark born. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to practice making questions about place of origin and birthdays, similar to the examples on the chart. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay, so what are some examples of the WH questions that you remember? Where, 
what are some examples of the WH questions that you remember? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you live? Where do you live? What is your favorite food? What is your favorite kind of food? What else? What your what is your favorite song? What is your favorite song? Okay. What's your name? What's your name? All right. Where you live here? Mm, where you live here or where do you live? Where do you live? Okay, where do you live? Where are you from? Where are you from? All right. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some questions on the WhatsApp group. And I would like for you guys to practice the conversation. Repeat after me. Where, where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? How old are you? How old are you? How old are you? And who is your favorite soccer player? Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite soccer player? Soccer player. Who is your favorite soccer player? Okay. Uh, where, how old are you? Where are you? What's yeah. your favorite color? What is your favorite color? What's your favorite kind of food? What's your favorite food? Okay, let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. One volunteer. Me, teacher. All right. I would like for you to ask Mr. Santos the question. Mr. Santos, we will respond. Sorry, teacher, que no le no escucho muy bien. Eh, va a hacerme las preguntas y yo la voy a responder. Eh, WH oh. questions. Las okay. WH questions. Teacher, what's your favorite movie? Eh, my favorite movie is Ghost. In the ship. Ghost in the ship. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Oof, crazy movie. Yeah. Teacher, where do you like it? Where do you? Like, where do you like it? Where do you live? ¿A dónde vivo? Where do you like it? ¿Dónde? Estoy tratando de decir dónde le gusta comer. Ah, Okay. Repeat, what is what is your your favorite restaurant? Your, your favorite restaurant. Yeah. Uh, my favorite restaurant is El Zócalo. Teacher, what, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Mm. Okay, stop right there. So right now you are going to practice the questions. Esta eh, actividad es speaking, eh, no va a ser escrita, no van a escribir nada, solamente van a practicar y responder in pairs. Un alumno va a hacer las preguntas y el otro va a responder. Ahí se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp, ahí las tienen. Okay. Okay, ready, let's go. Action. Silvia Esperanza. Rosemary, 
Rose Mari. Mendoza López. Mendoza López. Rose Mari. Mendoza López. Y Rose Mari. Ah, que íbamos a preguntarnos una a la otra eh, las preguntas que envió al grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, bueno. Ya voy a Empiezo a preguntar y usted responde. Como quiere. Vaya. Ah, okay. What's your name? My name is Roxana. Where do you work? Um, I don't work. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Tujutepec. Who old are you? I am 22 years. Who is your favorite soccer player? Mm. Como que es, ¿Cuál es su juego favorito o algo así? No tengo juego favorito. Um, my favorite. Oh, no, creo que es jugador. Ah, ¿Cuál es su jugador favorito? Sería entonces. Uh, my favorite soccer player is. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> ok. Uh, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. What's your favorite kind of food? Mm. My favorite food is cuscús. Okay. Okay. Voy yo. ¿Sabe qué significa quién? No. Uh, okay, igual yo tampoco, pero le pregunta. Bueno. Ah, uh, yes. Kind es como tipo de. Kind of food. Um, tipo de comida. Tipo de comida. Kind of music, tipo de música. Uh, okay, um, y on the, uh, who is your favorite soccer player? Sería, ¿cuál es tu jugador favorito? ¿Quién? No, ¿cuál? ¿Quién? ¿Quién uh, okay. es tu jugador favorito? Es una persona. Who? Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. O puede decir, ¿Quién es tu cantante favorito? Who is your favorite singer? Uh, ¿Quién thanks. es tu presidente favorito? Who is your favorite president? ¿Quién? No solamente estaba repasando la lectura. Que oh, ok. Ready, action. Hoy me pregunta usted a mí. Bye. Eh, y luego le preguntamos a, a Ana Lisette. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Eh, 
What's your name? My name is Jose Maria. Where do you work? I don't. Where do you live? I live in Candelaria City. How old are you? I uh, 19 years old. Who is, who is your favorite soccer player? My favorite soccer player is Messi. Leonel Messi. What? Yes. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. What's your favorite team of food? My favorite food is chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Chicken. Hoy mm, le va a preguntar este a Ana Lisette. Ana Lisette. Hello. Ana Rivas. Hola. Ok, yo le haré las preguntas entonces. Ok. What's your name? My name is Ana Rivas. Where do you work? I am working. In La Libertad. Eh, no, cuando le está preguntando. Pues a... Tiene que ser lugar. Ajá, correcto. Por ejemplo, yo trabajo en Diana. Eh, yo trabajo en Walmart. Yo trabajo en Cos Café. I don't know. I work in Claro. Sí. En una librería, pero se me olvida cómo se dice. Librería es donde librería. venden libros. Sí, sí. Ah, I work in a bookstore. I work in a bookstore. Sí, sí. I work in a bookstore. Okay. Where do you live? I live in La Libertad. No, I am Puerto live, no, solamente I live in Puerto La Libertad. I live in Puerto La Libertad. Ajá. El I am no, Larry, solamente yeah. es para el cero estar. Por ejemplo, yo estoy contenta. I am happy. Mm, okay. Ahí usamos I el M. Mm -hmm. in Puerto La Libertad. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I am 29. Very so young. Very <laughs> young. <laughs> Pero parezco de 15. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Baby, ¿qué más me dijo? Yeah. <laughs> Who is favorite soccer player? Uh, who is um, favorite or who favorite. is your favorite? Who is your favorite soccer player? Uh -huh. Who is your favorite soccer player? Is um, soccer. ¿Quién es tu jugador futbolista favorito? A mi jugador. No tengo. I no. I, I don't. I, I don't have one. I, I don't, don't have, one. have one. I don't have one. Correct. I don't have one. I don't have one. What's your favorite color? Okay, yeah, that's it, that's it, let's go. Okay, it's black. And black, white. black, blickety black, because it's black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of food? 
kind. Chicken and fries. Chicken and fries. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I would like uh, two volunteers. Two volunteers. Okay, Karen Zulema. One more volunteer. Karen Zulema, one more. Okay, Rosemaria levantó la mano. So, Karen Zulema haga la pregunta y Rosemaria responds to the question. Okay. What's your name? My name is Rosa Maria. Where do you work? I don't. Where do you live? I live in Candelaria City. How old are you? I 19 years old. What is your favorite soccer player? Okay, My are you sitting who? 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 Okay, okay. Who is your favorite? Eh, Eremías Rivas, por favor, mantenga el micrófono en silencio. Continue. Uh, my, my favorite soccer player is Lionel Messi. Okay. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. What's your favorite kind of food? Kind. Kind. Ahí sería ah. Kind. kind. Okay. Okay. What's your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food is chicken. And fries. Okay. Chicken and fries. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Chicken and waffles. No. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, applause for the participants. Good job. Okay, I know that everybody wants to participate and I know that you want to uh, go ahead and practice, but we have to continue. So for the next activity, we're going to look at the next section. Knowledge check. Select the best answer to the question. Seleccione la mejor pregunta, la mejor respuesta para la pregunta. For example, number one, where were you born? What is the answer? In Hiroshima, Japan. Hiroshima, Japan. Okay, so we're going to look at the question, va a leer la pregunta, y seleccionar la respuesta más adecuada de las opciones. Do you understand? Teacher, excuse me. Huh? Yes, teacher. Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Eh, ¿Me podría explicar, por favor, la diferencia entre was y were? Por favor, otra vez. Yes, was y were. Was. Sí. Es para primer persona. I was. Y también eh, para tercer persona singular. He was. She was. Pero el were es para tercer persona. Eh, perdón, el, para el plural. plural. Ajá. Por ejemplo, tú dices we were. They Wait, were. were. Para plural. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank All you. Right. That's good. Ready? Let's go. Oh, teacher, no, no puedo entrar. Aparece otra cosa en mi set. Okay.
teacher me, me, me envía la invitación de nuevo. Yes. Gracias. Uh -huh. Sí, le amo. Right. ¿no? Usted lee la primera, yo leo la segunda y así vamos. Right. Está bien. Where, dice, where were you were? Y la respuesta sería, in Hiroshima, Japón. Ja Japón, okay. perdón. In Hiroshima, Japón. Ah, Japón. Okay. Ahora de... you grow up? Ajá. Yo voy con la segunda. Sí, perdón. Excuse ajá. me. Where did, ajá. where did you grow up? It, uh, it was a little scary. Um, how was your first friends in school? Her name was Yumiko. What was he, he like? Or she, she like? Uh -huh, she. She, uh -huh, she, she. What was she like? La, la, yeah. la cinco, ¿eh? She was, uh, she was really friendly, friendly. Uh, why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. Okay. okay ahora, una vez más? Sí, ahora yo inicio. Y, sí. Ah, basta. Uh -huh. Where? Where? Creo que ahí las dos igual. Sí, sí, ¿Sí? Okay. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew, I grew up in Tokyo. How was your first day of school? Mm -hmm. It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Jumiko. What, what was she like? She was very friendly. Why did you take this class? This class. I want to improve, improve my English. I can't remember that. Sí. Ah, pues, nuevamente. Sí. ¿Empezaría yo? Sí. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. How was, how was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. What was she like? She was really friendly. Why did you take this class? I wanted to prove in my English. Nuevamente, porque al parecer ya de tiempo. <laughs> sí. Empiezo a. Sí. Vaya. Where, where, where you born in Hiroshima, Japan? Where did you, where did you grow? I grew up in Tokyo. Who was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Who was your first friend in school? Her name was Miko. What was she like? She was really friendly. Why, why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. Okay. La primera. Uh -huh. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. 
How was hey, your first grew, day of grew school? Grew up, grew up. Grew up? Okay, let me have the first volunteer. Let me have the first volunteer. I would like for you to give me the answer for number one. Jacqueline. Karen, number, number two. One. Where were you born? In Hiroshima, Japan. Perfect. Number two, Karen Stephanie. Number three, Noemi Lisette. <laughs> Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Perfect. Noemi Lisette, number three. How oh, was your first day of school? It was a little scary. Perfect. Fatima Guadalupe, number four. Fatima Guadalupe, number four. Hello, Fatima Guadalupe, me escucha? Yes, teacher. Number four, please. Teacher, who Hello. was your first friend in school? Her name was Yumiko. Excellent. Number five, uh, number five, uh, let me have... Uh, Eremias Rivas, number five. Number five, what, what was she like? She was really friendly. Excellent. Glenda Maribel, number six. Why did you take this class? I want to improve my English. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now it's time for the attendance. Es hora de tomar la asistencia. Eh, todos, por favor, encendamos la cámara brevemente solo para la asistencia. All right, everybody ready? Uh, veo que Diego Serrano no ha encendido la cámara. Ahí está, dicho. All right, excellent. Okay, everybody say cheese. All right, una más. Everybody say cheese. Okay. Yo creo que ya está. Déjeme confirmar que ya están las fotos. One second. Esta ya está. Y esta también. Okay, excellent. All right. Now we're going to take the attendance. Ya puede apagar la cámara si desea. Now we're going to take the attendance. Eh, por favor, diga present cuando diga su nombre. Eh, Ana Lisette Rivas. Present. Okay. Y vamos a ver, estamos en el ocho. Present. Brenda Susana. Present. Cristian Lisandro. Present, teacher. Cindy Janet. Present teacher. Claudia Beatriz. Claudia Beatriz. Present. Claudia Roxana. Present. Daris Marisol. Present teacher. Diego Serrano. Present teacher. Erasmo Perla. Present teacher. Eric Xavier. Present teacher. Fatima Guadalupe. Present teacher. Glenda Maribel. Present. Jandel Mariel. 
Present. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Eremias Alexander. Present. George Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Jovito. Present teacher. Karen Lisette. Present. Karen Stephanie. Present. Karen Zuleima. Present. Katia Carolina. Present. Katia Lorena. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Okay, absent. Present Mon teacher. Ah, Manuel de Jesus is present. Gracias, present. Manuel. Gracias. Eh, Monica Maria. Present teacher. Nady Ibis. Present teacher. Noemi Lisette. Present teacher. Rosa Maria del Milagro. Present teacher. Santos Miguel. Present teacher. Silvia Esperanza. Present teacher. Jacqueline Stephanie. Present teacher. Awesome. All right. Now we are going to go ahead and look at the following activity. Okay. We're going to be looking at 5.6. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when using negative contractions. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán a sonar natural cuando usas abreviaciones negativas. Listen, please. Listen, please. Now is your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. Hi everyone, in this class you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables, isn't. Wasn't, doesn't, didn't. They didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry. I don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea. These aren't their swimsuits. They can't swim. He wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today. A quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the N. For example, I can't. They weren't. Now is your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable pronouncing them. All right, so right here, what you're going to do is you're going to practice. Va a practicar pronunciando now el negativo. ¿Cuál oh, es el today. tip que nos da en el video? ¿Cuál es el tip que nos da el video para pronunciar el negativo? Pronunciar prolongar, 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 prolongar la N, ¿verdad? Weren't, didn't. So, para esta actividad, van a pronunciar estas palabras. Aren't, don't, weren't, can't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't, didn't. Las va a pronunciar y se va a grabar. Y las va a, va a ponerlo en Zillow. Digo, en eh, vocaroo.com. Y después lo va a poner en la plataforma. Do you understand? Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. All right, Rosa Maria, let's go. Monica Maria, let's go. Noemi Gabriel, let's go. Yes. 
Entonces. Bucaru.com. ¿Cómo es? Ya se me olvidó el nombre. Bucaru.com. Gracias. Teacher. Hey, what's going on, Jacqueline and Stephanie? Eh, dice error. No puedo empezar la, gra la grabación now. Eh, Se fue a bocarru.com. Sí. Ah, pues hágalo después. Me imagino que sí, sí, sí. porque está. Ya. Yeah. Ahorita solo practiquen la pronunciación. Ok. Ah, pues así le va a salir. Ajá. Y usted le va a apretar ahí. Ya cuando esté grabando la voz o algo, luego le va a apretar para que le aparezca un enlace, si no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Ah, pues, y de ahí ya el enlace solo lo pone en la plataforma. Ah, ya entendí. Ajá. Y eso. Ok. Ajá, y eso es todo lo que va a hacer ahorita. Ya solo pone okay. el enlace y ya lo, lo manda a bocar, o si no me equivoco. Vale, pues. Ok. Entonces sería lo que dice en el video. Sería aren't, don't, weren't, can't. Así sería. No escucho. Ahí estaba con el micrófono apagado. <risa> Eso, este, lo voy a grabar ahorita, le digo. Voy a tener que salirme un ratito para subirlo. Vaya. Vaya. Buenas noches, las pudo subir. Fíjate que no sé por qué este no me graba todo, como que empieza a grabar y después no graba. 
porque me puse a escucharlo y hice como que se corta el audio. Ajá, ah, pues ahí sí, no sé. <ríe> ¿Y usted lo pudo subir? Sí, ya lo subí. Quiero ver ahorita si lo vuelvo a grabar. Vale, está bien. Yo creo que ya, ya estuvo. <risa> Ahora sí ya. Yo creo. Pero no estoy tan seguro. <risa> Digo yo que sí. <risa> ya no se le escucha cortado. Ya no. Uh -huh. Pero lo descargué por si acaso, vea. <risa> pero solo puso el enlace o... Oh. Sí, sí, solo el enlace copié. Ajá. Vale. No soy tan, no soy tan buena para la tecnología. No, sí, no creo. La primera vez que me tocó ponerlo así, invocaron un foro también. Me costó. Tuve <ríe> que estar preguntando. Ay, no. Ya después uno se adapta. Sí. Y bueno, esto es nuevo para mí porque yo no sabía que existía una plataforma para eso. Pues, Siempre hay algo nuevo que aprender. Pues sí. <risa> algo nos va a servir. Sí. Aunque sea para estarnos escuchando. <risa> <risa> Ay, cabal. Eso es cierto. Sí.
Two volunteers. Two volunteers. Okay, Jacqueline Stephanie, quiero escucharla. Okay, teacher. Hello, yo también quiero participar. All right, excellent. Sanchez Lopez. I start, teacher. Yeah. Aren. Okay, Sanchez, le vamos a dar chance a Jacqueline, después va Sanchez. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't, isn't, wasn't, doesn't, didn't. Perfect. Now, Sanchez Lopez. Didn't, can't, aren't, don't, weren't, isn't, doesn't, wasn't. Perfect. All right, good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what we are going to do is go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be looking at section 5.8. WH questions with did and was. Everybody, please listen to the video. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, Todos and escuchan? Additionally, yes, teacher. All right. Conversation which yes. topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did? What? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. 
finally we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement towards the right-hand side of this chart. You can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you wear a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what. Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making. All right, so I would like for you to give me at least five WH questions in the discussion forum. Van a escribir por lo menos cinco preguntas con WH. Eh, what's your name? Eh, where do you live? What's your favorite color? Who is your favorite person? Where, you where are you from? Yeah, at least five questions you understand yes teacher teacher hi i am a i'm a question eh, i have a question i have a question and ahora estaba viendo series y para para decir me tengo que ir ellos dicen i gotta go i gotta go es una forma informal de decir i have to go ah uh, eso eso me había confundido yo ajá Así que, ajá es como, gotta... es como cuando nosotros decimos en español, eh, me, me tengo que ir. Me tengo que dar el staff. Ajá, <laughs> ajá, como informalmente, I gotta go. Ya, yeah. ¿y cómo, cómo, cómo se escribe, Ticho? Eh, aquí lo voy a escribir en el chat. I gotta go, I gotta go. Yeah, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye. 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 Enjoy. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Take care. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow, Bye. See you later. Good night. Bye. 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 See you later. Bye. 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 I'm sorry? Una pregunta, ¿me puede regalar su número? Eh, y estoy en el chat. Eh, se lo voy a escribir acá. 6308-5946. He hecho una pregunta. Oh, yes. A mí no me ha caído nada para inscribirme al módulo 4. En serio, tiene que escribirle al muchacho Jason. Ellos están haciendo ya el reclutamiento para el próximo módulo. Ok, gracias, Ticha. Ok. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.